Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chicken. Did you know that the economy is doing so well that in fact the GDP is up 2%? In fact, it's doing so well. They can now afford an increase in the minimum, yes, the minimum wage increase to $15 an hour. Really? Oh, $15? That's a pretty big jump from, what, $11, $11 or something like that? Mm -hmm. Anyway, but get your wallets open because, oh, wait a minute. Are we supposed to deflect it from something else? You know, like cars are up the highest sales in over a decade. Home sales are going through the roof. Oh, is that all to deflect so we can increase? Yes, minimum wage and oh, open up our pocketbooks for the holiday season. Well, for now, we're going to bring old camera with comments on the headlines of today. This is Sir Christmas. So we only get to do this once a year. We can do it at other times, well, but we don't. The Christmas trees don't fit in after <coughs> Christmas. Well, we'll continue fireside chats, but this looks nice the way it is. Yeah. You have to understand, folks. We actually went through days of work to get this place cleaned up for this. So. Uh, yeah, we did, and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, that's what they said. They said that. That even though the young people have basically said "f you" to the president of the United States, the Democratic Party, we know that they're going to come back to us because the Republicans are offering them nothing they want. Well, here's a big oh, what does Herbie Daddy said? If they don't like the other side and they don't like your side, they aren't going to vote, which is going to hurt your side more than it does the Republican side. That they can't get through. They tried to explain that to a guy last night. Who was a spot. Here's what irritates me both about the Democrats that support the president. They're all like, uh, you know, like the king's guard, you know. Well, they never tell the king he doesn't have ever new clothes. They they basically are always smiling and they, you know, they don't realize that he doesn't have any clothes. Mm -hmm. And Obama doubles down on all fronts. Oh God, he he's basically he's losing on health care. He's losing on immigration. He's losing on gun control. He's losing on the environment because he uh, he may have he may get the lower court all he wants, but then. The, they can basically go to another court in another area that he doesn't control, and uh, he's losing on on his recess appointments. And so what he's done is he's simply he's shifting everything to I'm going to make it the focus of my administration to handle income in, income inequality, and healthcare is an example of income inequality. The wealthy have the best in, best uh, treatment, and the poor don't. We want to make certain that everybody has the same treatment which basically isn't going to happen because somebody wanted to point out the fact and to make Obamacare work, which he now does not refer to Obamacare anymore, you have to take money from the people that don't have money to give it to the people that don't have the health care. And they said you're taking from the people you need to support you to keep your program alive and they basically said we'll kick the guy's ass out of office. Oh, what did Herbie Daddy say? In uh, two-thirds of the states, the United States, they can't hold a recall election. There is nothing in the Constitution that says a president cannot be recalled. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Supreme Court rejects challenge to Obamacare by Christian University. Well, no, the Supreme Court didn't reject it. This was the judge that they sent it to that happened to be one of Obama's people. They rejected it. Okay, they said that they have no, uh, they have no legal bearing uh, no, you know, in a case well, it has to do with forcing them to pay for abortions and birth control, which the church doesn't agree with. But they said they have no legal standing. So the Obama judge basically said that I'm not going to recommend it for hearing. So what they will do is they'll go around Obama's judge and go to one of the other judges and, and simply do it. Here's the neat thing about Liberty University. It's got, it's got places all over the United States. Most of them are in red states mm -hmm. where they did happen to be in the hands of the blue at the mm -hmm. moment so and detroit can use bankruptcy to confront debt yeah mm -hmm. because okay what herbie daddy says they were spending like like there was no tomorrow when they had a population base of 1.4 million it was the fourth largest city in the united states they have a population base that is now less than um, bakersfield california wow yeah and they don't have the money to pay that they don't have the money to pay for it. What it was, they had, they have two billion dollars to run the city for next year. Two billion. You can't run a city on two billion dollars. 
Wow. But the Democrats, <laughs> well, they need to raise wealthy uh, money on the wealthy. The it's wealthy like the wealthy no are no longer there. <laughs> yeah, Along with the, most of the union people fled the city. Yeah, because they're not working. They're not working. If they're not working, it's what cost uh, it's it what cost Obama heavily in the last election was uh, Detroit. He needed Detroit to. He barely took the state of Michigan. He only took it because they they uh, they fabricated a few things. Um, it's another one of those states where the vote is now in question. Um, and Australia just scrapped its debt ceiling, and the U.S. should follow suit. Uh, yeah, what happened was they put a liberal government in control. The liberal government couldn't get uh, the people to support raising taxes, so they just decided to, uh, to scrap the debt ceiling, even if it's written in their law, that they have to have a balanced budget, and therefore the people that are in charge can spend as much money as they want. Mm -hmm. And court looks at protest ban at California military base. Uh, well, what happened was, I can guarantee you, I. I, I, I have military, we have military credentials. I can get on to anything. And these people won't let me get on without doing a total check. Some guy decided to protest the military by going on a military base. You can't get on a military base without a permit, folks. But they're saying that they, the Democrats are saying his freedom of speech was violated by preventing him to go where it says not allowed. Mm -hmm. And so Swiss vote against cap on executive pay. That was one of the most. But okay, uh, the Swiss people basically have referendums on everything. They had a referendum on how much money that the wealthy can make. They have a referendum on how much money the they, look, they put a, they want a referendum on how much money the wealthy can make, and a referendum telling you how much money of what you make you have to spend. Uh, they I don't remember, imagine ordering people like if say a rich guy made a, a ten million dollars. Well, you have to spend 9.9 .9 million of it in, in Switzerland. What? That was what they had a ref That also lost, too. And a minimum wage of $35 an hour also went down. They said that even though they have a referendum process, they said 99% of the referendums never passed because they're all, they said people propose, uh, like a, well, we need to make it, we need to order people to drink and smoke more so that we can raise, so we can get more revenue. So let's have a referendum saying that dropping the smoking and drinking age down to 10. <laughs> and not sure Microsoft appreciates how much some users hate Windows 8. Uh, I think, how yeah. much they appreciate? <laughs> they, uh, okay, With the, uh, basically it got, it got, got bomb or fired over a thing because Windows 8 is a disaster. I, I sat there and have nothing but problems with my Windows 8. I got an 8.1 upgrade was supposed to make it better. I knock my computer out at least once a day because Windows 8 has this little thing It says, well, you've got a problem with your catch. Then oh. it turns the screen, and, you know, and then I have to go back and uh. run a thing. But it's a Windows 8 problem, and you can't do anything about it except to remove Windows 8, which you can't do. And insurers warn of problems with Obamacare enrollment surge. Yeah, because you can't enroll in Obamacare. They said. 30 to 40 percent of the people. Here's a neat one. Oh, Herbie Daddy said, you know what's missing when they set up the Obamacare thing? The little thing that says 804 error, mm -hmm. it doesn't come up. It just pushes you, it just says, it just goes to the next thing. And the people think they've been approved and they have not been approved. 30 oh, to 40, well, oh, no. Herbie Daddy says, Obama's done a workaround. The insurance companies are just going to accept everybody that comes for treatment. Uh, under the treatment they can get under Obamacare, and then the insurance company is going to submit Obama to Bill, and he's going to pay the bill for a full year, and then at the end of next year, they're going to the government will sit down with these people and find out if they owe them money or they have to repay money. That went over like a big balloon. I mean, the Democrats do not want to run on. Well, we're going to just we don't know how many actually signed up because oh, that part of the system was never built. Seven hundred billion, seven hundred million dollars, and they didn't even build the system for signing people up. It's just an information site. Oh, here's one. Uh, this little girl, basically, that got in trouble earlier. Her website gets more hits a day than the Obama site, and it doesn't crash. Oh no. Yeah, she's had like <laughs> since they did this, she's had like forty some million. Oh hits really? Her site, yeah. And oh Obamas my. can't handle more than 350000 a day. And Windows 7 is still growing faster than Windows 8. 
<laughs> no one likes Windows 8. I mean, I got Windows 7 on two computers. I have XP on a computer. I, I think it's XP on one. Really? I have XP on you one still Vista. Do. I got lots of computers. Vista worked really well. Vista actually had a device in it that allowed you to make older programs compatible with it. You could use programs that were not compatible with things. Uh, okay, you would not believe what is not compatible with Windows 8. Nothing is compatible with It's a major Windows. change. Yeah, and a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, uh, democracy is only worth what you're willing to pay for. It. <laughs>